Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barn at Looking Point. We help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today, we're going to be talking about a 9120 AP, really just APs and how you mount them. Let's go! We're back and we we're talking about the 9120 Cisco AP and how it mounts and the associated mounting hardware that come with it in the box. Now, if you don't have a 9120, pretty much any Cisco AP, if it's an indoor based AP, has a, the same mounting hardware, or at least most of them that I've seen. So what comes in the box, the AP, there is a T-bar mount and the screws associated with it. We've got the standard mount which is required whether you're mounting this to a wall or a t-bar so to talk a little bit about the mount uh, you'll see there's four holes here uh, on these four corners essentially or not really corners but see the four mounting points this is designed to screw to a flat surface whether it's a wall a ceiling a piece of metal uh, what have you these four points are what touch the wall and what they allow for is they allow for this bracket to sit off the wall a little bit and so that the mounting posts that are on the back side of the AP, which I'll show you in a second, can slide into here to these holes and slide down to mount. So as I pick up the AP, you'll notice that the four posts are right here. And on the top here, you've got a console and an Ethernet port. So you'll plug in the Ethernet connection into the AP. It will get power over Ethernet to turn on the AP. Um, and then you would mount this to whatever surface you're going to be mounting it to, whether it's a wall, a ceiling, that type of thing. And then once you're ready to mount the AP, you'll slide in these little posts, slide into the bracket, and then it slides up and clicks in like that. And that is how the AP is mounted to the bracket. And then if you wanted to service it, you could simply pull it down and pull it off the wall. Now, a couple things to notice. You'll see that there is a little uh, square here, a little square here on the side of the mount and a square here on the AP. And so that enables you, if you wanted to lock it to the wall, you could put a little lock there and secure the AP in its location and it makes it difficult to remove uh, from the mount. Um, now, if you wanted to mount the AP to a T-bar, a T-bar is like a drop ceiling. If you've had those little tiles in the ceiling, typical of office buildings, uh, there's going to be a little bar that runs in between all the tiles. That's the T-bar, and that's what this mount is for. And so what it does is it slides in and out to clamp the T-bar. You can kind of separate it and adjust it to based on how wide the actual T-bar is, and it kind of clicks in place uh, for the associated T-bar. And then these little hooks just go around it and hold it in place. Now what you'll want to do is take the screws and they line up with the holes in the mount. Um, and then these screws go through and mount to the bracket so that you can clamp it to the T-bar and slide the AP in the same way that I showed you before. So that is it when it comes to mounts. It comes with all these parts, the T-bar bracket, the screws, the mounting plate, and that all comes with the AP. And almost every Cisco internal AP that I've seen has the same four post design. So I hope that answers any questions you may have around mounting a Cisco AP. If I said anything in this video, they're like, hey, I wanna know more about that. Make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.